Welcome to another Old Timer Center video, guys. Check out this 2005 update W211 Mercedes Benz E350. I love these cars. This is in zircon silver. It's pretty well unmarked and it has just 46,000 documented kilometers since new. And you just don't see that on these anymore. Being such superb highway cars, such great drivers, they've all raked up 200,000 Ks. I consider 150 Ks low on these now. And then to see this with just 46,000, it's pretty mind blowing. Judging by the condition of the car, it's sat in a garage and been used just to visit the shops very sparingly. It's wearing four brand new Yokohamas. And the tire size here is 225, 55, R16s. Wheels are unmarked. In fact, the only imperfection I can really find on this car is a tiny little mark there. We could even have that pulled out if you wanted it. It's the Elegance trim line. These came in three trims, classic Elegance and Avant-Garde. The Elegance is the nice middle of the range trim. It gave you all the features. And of course, being the update, it's the better car. Originally, you know, this sedan came out in 2002 as an E320. And then in 2005, as this is, it received the update, became the E350. And of course the engine went to a 3.5 litre buttery smooth V6. And this even has its nice little original Marshall sticker. Sorry about the airplane going overhead. We are about seven minutes from Sydney Airport. I'm gonna hop in the car now and show you some of the amenities. I'm greeted by basically the nicest wood grain. I love this burled walnut. It's so, it's got a lot of luster. It's very deep. There's a lot of coats of veneer on this. It's very rich and warm. It just goes very nicely with the black leather. And these seats feel stiff and supportive and new, like they've barely been sat in. And as you can see, 46,000 original kilometers. So it could almost be a collector car. Fires right up. And you've got this multimedia steering wheel and you can scroll through all your operations, nav, telephone, I've got a little bulb out, it's even telling me, which I will replace. Here we've got the updated nav system. It's got phone, it's got video, it's got maps. So you just go through all your features. You can see here we are 101 to 103 Illawarra Road, Marrickville. WSVM, all your pre-programmable stations. And another nice little feature that you might not know about, if you touch this button, you've got your six stacker CD player. This is not the CD player, this is where your nav disc goes. Dual zone climate control, blows very cold. Just confirm that. Yeah, it's freezing. Always love Ben's air conditioning. So we've got a nice sunroof here. <clears throat> Auto dimming mirror. And get a load of this. You can see my uh, headrests in the rear view mirror. If they're obscuring your vision, you simply press this button and down they go. Another nice little amenity is this tilt and reach adjustable power steering column. I've got my cruise control up here. I love the Benz Cruise Control. It's the easiest to use out of any of them. You just pull on to start and up and down to adjust your speed. Another feature is if you're in the city and you're worried about getting a speed ticket, 
get up to your desired speed, push this in, see that little light comes on, and then you won't go above that speed even if you put your foot to the floor. It's a speed limiter feature. It's very helpful. I know it's saved me a few times. Here we've got a nice little credit card holder. Another, a lot of people don't know this, but if you push underneath, you can easily get it out so you're not reaching around in there. Deep glove books, all the books and service history in there. Power seats, programmable. On the transmission here, don't know if you can see in the sun, we've got comfort and sports modes. It is the touch shift Tronics, so you can leave it in drive or you can adjust it manually. That about covers the main features. It would take me all day to go through specific ones. I've got a very nice illuminated vanity mirror here. And I'm just gonna show you some other parts of the car. Follows suit in the back. It's a very spacious sedan. These things are unrivaled on the highway. Incredibly comfortable prestige motoring and when you consider the new price of this car it's great value for money it hasn't even used a, a, you know a quarter of its life up we have a commodious boot here full size spare Merc keeps its batteries in the boot all the tools and jack are in order and another signature of a Benz that hasn't been compromised is when it has its original warning triangle intact. This paint is so reflective and glossy. Just gonna see if I can give you a demonstration. You can see my reflection very easily. Gonna pop the hood for you now. Bear with me. I mean, this car, once upon a time, cost the original owner, and I do believe it would be a one owner with such low kilometers, well over $120,000. Now it can be yours for a fraction of that. <laughs> it's only done 46,000 Ks. Look at that, it's a, look, for a Benz, it's barely even broken in. Everything looks new and uncompromised up here. All the original codes, it's not even dirty. I haven't even done anything to it. It's just, looks like it's come off the Benz showroom 10 years ago. Not even a hint of fading on these lights. They look utterly brand new. Look how glossy and shiny those HIDs are. The radiator looks like it hasn't even caught hint of a bug. I really have to emphasize, folks, that you have to come and see this car. It's as close to perfect as you'll find a 10-year-old W211. I would venture that it's one of the best on the market, if not the best at this present time. It's getting very hard to find cars like this. And I know you'll appreciate it. We're the Old Timer Centre, www.old.com.au. For all our contact details, we're a European prestige specialist. And we'd love to talk to you further on this car. Give us a call, shoot us an email, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.